I'm Rob Kircher and welcome to our 1905 Cottage Restoration. It's an ongoing series of episodes with my wife Barbara and I restoring this once diamond in a rough behind me. Now, we have made many changes over the last year, but there are still many more challenges yet to overcome. We have plumbing problems, electrical problems, insulation problems, and a myriad of other problems, folks, that are still hidden within her walls. And trust me, they are there. Now, call us crazy, and we probably are, but we believe that we can turn it into an absolute showcase. So stay with us as we spend time, money, and effort in transforming this old cottage into an incredible restoration. Coming up in this episode, we'll be back upstairs, primarily in the hallway, where we'll be ripping up old carpeting, installing new trim, changing out old doorknobs, and having our electrician add three new ceiling lights, amongst many other things. So you won't want to miss any of that. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. It's most appreciated, folks. Thank you so much. This is the last piece of carpeting and I think I'm able to get actually two steps pulled out. Yay! Look at that. Okay, that goes down and then the padding comes up and then it reveals these new uh, treads that they put on which is going to be good for our new wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Okay, now we're going to be working on these strips on both sides, and so on and so forth. So stay with us. And again, this is not original to the house. It all comes off. Wow, look at that, there's wainscoting behind here folks. Okay now, <laughs> once you start taking this plaster off, you can see what you're dealing with. This is our board and batten behind here, and this is the original plastered wall. and. Uh, get it back to where it's a nice smooth surface and uh, then get ready for the wainscoting that we're going to put on it. Well I've been waiting over a year to take this strip off right here and I don't know if you can see it from your angle but this was a cob job of a patch job and what it was I believe this was an open stairway and they tried to piece that in there but it looks absolutely horrible so all that's coming out. Now what they did is they put plaster in here because they couldn't figure out how to put a piece of molding in it. Unbelievable. There we go. Look at the gigantic nails they put in that. Nothing like a good wrecking bar. Well, my wife and I went to a long established uh, lumber yard uh, in Rochester that has stock that nobody else does. And we're able to find this. This is the one inch tongue and groove by three and a half beadboard, uh, which is uh, just matches all the old stuff so we're super happy about that and we got the right lengths for it and then we also got this poplar over here which we had them rip in half and that's going to go up along the side of the staircase 
and then we're going to put a piece of molding, uh, which is that piece right there, on top of it. Well, our electrician, Tim Harrington, is here with a helper, and they're putting uh, the new lights that we need to have at the bottom of the staircase and also one down the hallway upstairs. So it's another exciting morning at our 1905 cottage. And there's Tim right now checking uh, the wiring on the ceiling light, and uh, he's going to put another light down the hallway. Well, they already have the ceiling light put down in the middle of our hallway here, which looks fantastic. So they uh, they ran the wire, and now it's coming out the other side. So Tim has got to change of plans now. He's going to see if he can't run directly down through the ceiling. So he's repositioning that light right there. We have a very small... Um, access to uh, the roof I guess you could say and uh, Tim is trying to see if he can fish a wire from that position over to the light in the hallway where's the three wire for the travelers and early this morning our electricians uh, came and they installed that light this light and that light down there so now one switch controls them all which is right here and that's just amazing to love yay progress we love progress these two by fours by the way were the old two by fours when they actually measured two by four <laughs> now it's uh, uh i don't know it's a screen that's Three and three quarters by one and uh, three quarters, something like that. So, but these are the old two okay, by four. Swing around. This is the new banister that we have. It's been uh, supported with beadboard and uh, it's quite solid now. But this is the color that the walls are going to be. So, if you look down at the baseboard, that will be white, and then the walls will be that color, which is the same color that we had for the bathroom door. Well, we got a lot accomplished yesterday. I put uh, two coats of ceiling white uh, on the ceiling here. Uh, and before that, I spackled all of that uh, nasty little starburst, which I absolutely uh, dislike immensely. And uh, now what we're doing, as you can see, starting to put our corner boards up. Here's one. and we have another corner board down there so i'm going to finish up the corner boards the baseboards today and uh, and get as much of the trim up as possible and then what we'll do is we'll start to paint which is always a fun thing to do this is the other end of our hallway uh it's short <laughs> to the right is my office and straight ahead is our guest bedroom uh, now, to the right and left and along the top of the doorway, I'm going to be putting in some new uh, boards. So it's going to match what we have over here. And uh, along the ceiling up there, I'll be putting new ceiling molding as well. Okay, so here's to you. Cheers. Have my morning water. And uh, stay with us as we tackle the next stage of our our upstairs restoration. Well, these are my tools that are cluttering the upstairs uh, hallway at the moment. That's the shop back in the foreground. If you follow the hose, it's connected to my small little cutoff saw, and that's to minimize uh, as much sawdust as possible. To the left of that is my compressor, and that's my air staple gun that we use to uh, adhere both the baseboards and the ceiling molding and so on and so forth. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm mitering this uh, piece of trim, uh, what I call is a picture frame uh, surround. So I'm cutting this on a 45, like so, 
Okay, I just cut this 45 and I'm going to attach it to the bottom part of the other 45 and we're going to create that picture frame I was talking about. So I'm going to use my brads and they're about two and a half inches long and they're perfect for this operation. Okay. Well, this is the door to our guest bedroom and this is another one of those you got to be kidding they use masking tape to hold the doorknob in place <laughs> unbelievable only in a cottage <laughs> this is uh, very modern and you can see behind there was an imprint over here where they had a much wider back plate and then on the bathroom door look at this knob <laughs> You gotta love that. And then in Barbara's office uh, door, look at this. There's two knobs here. Uh, at one point, I think they had renters in the house, so they wanted to keep their uh, their private stuff uh, behind lock and key. So that's that part. But uh, all this has got to come out and uh, reposition the doorknob. So that's going to take a little bit of work. And this is what it looks like on the end of the door. They just put a bunch of plaster in there, so all that's going to come out. And uh, this is the other doorknob that's above it, which is going to be taken out. That'll be covered, and then it's going to be put back where this knob is right now. All right, this is the next thing that has to be done. We have to put new doorknobs on all the doors upstairs and this is uh, one that goes into my office and you can see it's a nice black uh, doorknob with a big knob on it and it was chosen so it matches the handrails that we have coming up the stairwell. You can see it's a really high quality doorknob that uh, actually uh, I'm very happy with the, the overall look of it and again how it was manufactured and the structure of it should last far longer than we're going to be around. This is the door that leads into the guest bedroom and that's what I'm dealing with. I took the old knobs off, they were horrible, threw those away, brass ugly ones. This is the one that was kind of held together with masking tape. They use masking tape to hold the doorknob in place. <laughs> and uh, so that's going to get a new black doorknob. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Now, coming up in our next episode, we'll be replacing our old bathroom with a spectacular new look, and you won't want to miss that. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And as always, folks, it is most appreciated. Thank you so much.